Hi, I'm Brian DeShazer, Director of the Pacifica Radio Archives, the oldest and largest collections of public radio programming in the United States. And we're in the refrigerator, the climate-controlled room, where over 50,000 tapes reside, where we're custodians of this history. And right beside me here are the tapes that were identified as part of the American Women Making History and Culture Project, 1963 to 1982, a preservation and access project funded in part by a grant from the National Historical Publications and Records Commission at the National Archives in Washington, D.C. And it's a matching grant, so this coming Tuesday and Wednesday, November 18th and 19th, we're taking over the five Pacifica radio stations to raise funds to match a grant to make sure that over 2,000 tapes, just like these, of women's broadcast on Pacifica radio are preserved and made accessible for the future. Now, on this broadcast, we have some really special programs lined up for you with um, Amy Goodman and Democracy Now! hosting the Voices of the People's History of America, the 10th Anniversary, Howard Zinn's incredible project, Anthony Arnov, a shout out to you, my friend. Thank you for letting us record it for the second time. We did it 10 years ago, and we're ready to show both 10 years ago and this, and this year what highlights of those readings are about. We also have a live guest, Suni Paz, an incredible musician, on Tuesday with Mark Torres, so that's, we're looking forward to that. We have author James Gavin, host, uh, author of Is That All There Is, a new biography of Peggy Lee, and also the biographer of Lena Horne. We'll have him for an hour. Talk, um, we'll be playing clips of archival women in song, so look for Odetta, Miriam McKeeba, um, and, uh, and an interview with Lena Horne. And we'll go this way, and maybe we'll show you a little bit more about what these tapes are about. So all these little white pages, these these white pages.